pick up my controller, and we're going to begin our epic tale, our adventure through the land of... I, I don't remember the place that we're in. It's going to be great. So there you have it. All right. Hello. Oh, you thought so too, didn't did you? That army came around talking about the dreams and such. It, has, it all has to be a ruse by some lowly lord to get invited to the Congress. That big guy in the armor must have been the conqueror, but he didn't emanate a single ounce of intelligence or leadership. This all has to be one big joke. Thank you, Kara. Don't like Mountain Dew? Uh, well... Yeah, that's probably true. But, like, when I moved to Canada, they didn't have this. So, like, I was going across the border to get Diet Mountain Dew because it was, like, the only thing I would drink. So I was like... Eh. And then they finally got it, and they changed their Mountain Dew formula because it used to be caffeine-free. Then they added the caffeine, like, the U.S. has and everything else. And, yeah, so the rest is history. It's good. Um, as far as diet drinks in general, I, I don't really like any diet drinks except for this one. Uh, I can handle, don't like it, but I can handle Diet Dr. Pepper. It's not great, but it's it's drinkable. Um, Diet Coke and stuff like that, it just doesn't taste right with the dark cola. So it, it's definitely better with a, a more clear one. Ah, Pepsi all the way, Kara. Pepsi all the way, man. The intoxicated Yama says... There are plenty of goodies to buy in Illusion, but I really recommend the Blessed Buns. They're soft and feathery on the outside like clouds with a creamy filling, like the remnant Illusion floating within them. One bite will take you to heaven, or the sacred lands. Getting hungry? They're sold in Handler if you want to go home with a pack or ten. Sure. Hey, another cat person. That's like the, the only other, what are they called? Sovanis that I've actually seen. The new academy director, Ms. Haruko, is a very skilled as a scientist, but I'm not sure she has the management skills to run the whole academy. She was probably put in that position temporarily and will soon be replaced by someone else, perhaps John Sykes. Not bad, but weird. Just had Dr. Pepper. Yeah, it is a, an interesting taste. Here I live, there's a nice Coca-Cola Zero plus lemon. Mm. Well, I mean, if you like it, you like it, right? Like, I don't expect everybody to like everything I like. It's what makes us different, makes us people, makes us human. Alright, let's go on a quest for you, person. A beautiful sky, a beautiful town, and most importantly, my beautiful self. But today's duties have left me sullied. I cannot presume to meet the person, or that person, in such a state. If only I had the seeds of the white flower, I could make a perfume to cleanse myself. But woe, as if fate itself env envies my beauty, as well it should, that flower only grows in the catacombs, which is, I guess, under the city? Such a putrid atmosphere, and filled with beasts, disgusting enough that the mere mention of their presence bids me wash out my mouth impossible. Never could one pure as I enter such a place. Dude, suck it up. Calm down. I'll do it. Marvelous! Thus I may continue to be untainted. You may have difficulty, as the aroma of the white flower is often masked by the stench of the albic Cassiti? 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 Sure. Black orange? Cubicle. Wow. I have no idea what any of those things are. But cool. If you destroy the beast, it should be a simple matter to find the seeds. Slay those accursed albic cassits, cassitis, then pay attention to the scent of the flower. I trust that even you should be able to handle that. Sure. Why not? So, cool stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I've been trying. I've been barking up the, the X seed games tree for, I want to say it's been over a year now trying to get any of their titles because they are one of the primary publishers that are like bringing Fal Ny Nyon Falcom's games from their past games library stuff like the E series the Zway series um, the Legend of Heroes series all those from the past consoles and everything they're bringing them all to PC and Falcom said that they want to get all their titles onto PC so like I said 
they're one of the major companies that are doing it. And as such, I've been trying to, you know, work with them. And I've been, I don't know if I've been shut down every time, but, like, I contacted Xseed uh, directly. And they're like, oh, you have to go through our, through this form and our PR firm will hopefully get back to you. And they said that and it's like, they're sorry, there's nothing else we can do. You just have to go through this form. And I never heard back, never heard back. I think I did it three times. And then finally, I just signed up on this other thing that has a bunch of keys that you can request, and if they have the thing and the publisher, developer, whatever sees you, they'll send it to you as a YouTuber. So they finally sent me something. I know it was a very long story to just basically do that. So I'm really stoked and super happy. That made me smile, that like made my day. I don't know what level these things are, so this very possibly could end with me being dead, but we'll see. An orange col- eh. I'm not a big fan of orange cola, unfortunately. I know a lot of people are not orange cola. I'm not a big fan of like orange drink in general. I know a lot of people really like it, so yeah, different people, right? Different people. Combat arts and mystic arts for you. Uh, it was way the Argus adventure. It wouldn't have been my first choice of ones that I would like if they had their whole list there and I could have chosen any of them ones I even if I like if I didn't have any of them already and I could have chosen anyone it would have probably been one of my further down choices but I have most of the games anyway and the fact that I can't keep buying games all the time because you know, I don't make that much money <laughs> um, it helps it helps tremendously and hopefully I do well with it and they'll want to continue to work with me. So, I'm pretty stoked. I have the second game in um, as well. So, first game goes over decently, which... If it's based off of the writing alone, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. I don't know how the combat or any of the gameplay itself actually works yet. Unfortunately, because the first half hour of the, of the title of the game was almost all actually it was it was all dialogue and just moving around and learning the story so keep your HP up I'm gonna turn my mic up just slightly ah I missed I didn't miss on that one or that one or that one like a boss resonance edge so cool stuff all around Good stuff. Stay Pretty happy. There. Actually, most of the games that I've covered recently that I've started new things um, has all been stuff that's been sent to me. So like that's not to sell any other company or whatever short that sent me stuff. So right now, I must grow stronger. There's still plenty. I want to say the, I know there's like day. two, and I can't remember what the second one is, but ah, the last of them. Good beastman coins. At last, Albic High. Perfect. Um. Let's see, what is it? The Square Enix still hasn't sent me anything. They're one of the companies that I would love to work with. Haven't been able to work with them. That was it? That was super easy. That was the lamest thing ever. Alright, what is this enrapturous, enrapturous aroma? A sweet scent worthy of my pure white pelt. I must be honest, under normal circumstances, I would reward an unsightly youth such as yourself by extinguishing your pitiful existence. Unfortunately, I have places to be. A glittering future awaits my presence with bated breath. Thus, I bid you adieu until we meet again, though I hope next time you wash your hands at least. I obtained the Shend Salia. I don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah, Lost Sphere is really cool. I like it a lot too. Um, it doesn't remind me that much of, of Final Fantasy. I mean, in so much as it, yeah, it's a, it's a JRPG. But the wandering around, it feels different than a lot of the Final Fantasy games that I've played, at least. And the combat is something completely different, which I like a lot. I like, I really like the combat. I think it's really cool. Uh, it might be indicative of 8 or 9. I never actually played either one of those two. So maybe it's similar to that. And now, a after having played Lost Sphere, I want to go back and play I Am Setsuna. I think I might have had a chance to get that back in the day. I can't remember. I know I've heard of it. And I looked at it, and I was like, eh, I was so busy with whatever else I was doing. I was like, eh, I'm just not even going to bother with it. And now, I really want to play it and check it out and see. Um, yeah. To a degree, but again, this is how they, this is how they build up 
you know, with the reputation and everything else, sure. Places, uh, game, uh, game companies like Blizzard and game companies like Square Enix, and I'm sure there's a bunch of others. I'm not going to get into that, like Bethesda and whatnot. They, they have name recognition. If they're putting out a title, it's based off of a publisher that people really like the stuff that they do, so they'll get it. But right now, this is like the free promotion for a lot of uh, companies, or I say free. I, I don't think sending a digital copy to someone actually really costs them anything. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But if you think about it, you go, okay, well, let's say technically I'm spending $70, whatever the cost of a new game would be, to send this key or this game to somebody who would probably buy it anyway. And if they, you know, do the coverage of the game and they reach even one other person, that's an investment that was at least worth it in some regard. But if they reach 1,000 people or 5,000 people and, you know, 50% of those pick up the game, then it was an investment definitely worth the, the time, energy, and effort, and money to send it to us. So, up for Vermintide 2 soon? Yeah, Vermintide 2 is going to be releasing at some point. I think it's the first quarter of this year. I'm still up for Vermintide 1 if you ever want to finish that, Antros. If we uh, get time to schedule, let me know. And it's good to see you. You're, you're speaking to me again. I, I, I sent you a message on Steam, and I think it was yesterday or the day before, and I didn't hear back, so... Uh, I don't know if you were just super busy with work or what the case was. I mean, I know I've been busy. I've been waking up, working, and going right back to bed. Alright, let's see what's next. Oh, I wanted to check out what that item was before we do anything else. Uh, I don't know what it was called. It was this one, the Shenda Salia. A redstone known as a rock's wing, a rock's eye. Oh, I have two of these things now. Don't know what that's for. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah, for sure, up to fix it was line battles. Oh, I got that, F oh, that FF5. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, it's really, it's enjoyable. It, and, I don't know, I'm having fun with the with the voice acting, if you want to call it that. I'm just using funny voices, but it's it's thrown my throat into a bit of, of, a, bit of a struggle the last couple of days. Like, I'll go and I'll do that, and then I'm like, oh, I can't really do much else in a lot of the other videos. It just kills me, so. There you have it. This letter, it's got to get to a Baldarosa pub. Could you maybe... Yeah, I'll take it to you. Take it there for sure. All right. To get to Baldarosa, take the southwestern road. The guy there will reward you, probably. You don't have to tell me about it later. It's not like anyone cares about me anyway. Eh, thanks. I obtained the secret letter, and I have a secret letter quest. Oh, and this is one that I don't have to actually... I don't teleport to do. Cool. Okay, cool. You're not playing Grim, Dog, uh, Grim Dawn anymore? No. Those games wear on me too quickly. Like, I enjoy them for a while, but they, I just can't play them for any length of time. I'm lucky if I can manage to finish them in, like, one... Kind of... Not one sitting, but, like... I don't lose interest and come back to it later. Uh, that's what happened with Torchlight 1. Torchlight 2 it would have happened, but I think I was playing with both Splooch and Mutanot. So, and I don't think we recorded it. I think we were just playing it. So I did finish that one. Um, Diablo, I managed to get through all three of those games. Uh, two, well, 1, 2, and 3, I actually played with people. 1, not so much. Actually, I can't even remember. Yeah, 1, you could play with people. I think been so long but yeah it's more if you play with people but again they're not my favorite types of games i enjoy playing them i like to see the different world and everything else but it just tends to i just i just don't care i, I lose interest so quickly it's like all right same thing walk out here hack and slash this oh we got a slightly new item oh we have a extra skill now i i don't know i know everything is repetitive that's just how games are made but to me those just i lose interest quicker i don't know why uh, you were busy. Just went over it in the morning before. Ah, yeah. Yep, a lot of times when I read comments and stuff uh, on shows, I'll just check it when I'm... Uh, right before I go to work, or right when I get out of work, or on break or something. So I'll either read the stuff, and sometimes I'll have time to respond. Other times I'll just be like, oh, I'll respond to that later, and then I forget, and I don't do it. Because I'm a terrible human person. Okay, so I guess we did all the stuff here. Was there anywhere else? This is Illusion, right? We went to Celepalais, we went to Illusion. 
And we got the stuff out of Athlum, so everything is available to us now. Okay, so the Heroic Ramparts is where we go to continue the main story mission. Uh, Southwestern Road is one that we didn't have unlocked before. It's unlocked now. Walterosa is where we need to turn in a quest, and I don't know what this place is at all. These highlands are found at the foot of Mount Vackel. The name means Land of Beautiful Horses. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I know you really, really, really like uh, Grim Dawn. I'm glad you like it. It's, it's great. And like I said, from those type of games, Grim Dawn is definitely up there. It's one of the best, in my opinion, but I just... It's so hard for me to get 100% behind those games for any length of time. Like, I, I really enjoy playing them at, at the start, and then I just lose interest. It's very depressing. I hate I hate the fact that that's how they work with me. Because they're always fun when I'm playing them. I just... I get bored. Alright, let's see here. Tried Divinity. Got wrecked by a dude with a dagger. Divinity 2, is it um Original Sin or actually Divinity 2? Not a fan of in Lost Sphere. Random NPCs have nothing interesting to say. Yeah, but that's almost every game. Almost every game has random NPCs that are just kind of meh. They say stuff, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to go to the Southwest Road. I don't know what's here, but we'll figure it out. The Southwestern Road. What I should probably do after we clear through this, I am going to. We'll go to one of the Union places. We'll check the different quests that we can do and see if we can't figure out where some of the rare monsters are. I think we're probably still too weak for those, but maybe not. Uh -huh. Alright, I'm going to try to fight three of these. This could be Let's my death. I have no idea. We'll find out. Alright. That guy almost sounds like Vegeta. In my one ear that I hear out of right now. Did you guys uh, did you guys hear or see? I, I saw it on Twitter. I didn't actually watch the thing, but there was a an event for Dragon Ball Super Fighter, Super Dragon Ball Fighter Z something. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, the latest Dragon Ball fighting game that came out, and uh, they had the voice actors for Vegeta and Goku actually use their characters in like a big, uh, I think it was an opening day like publicity thing, and it was a. Uh, Team Goku or Team Vegeta, and a Vegeta actually won. It was pretty cool. Uh, was the guy that was after the Red Prince? Oh, okay. Rain Man only uses things that fall from the sky, and then Face Melter, or only. I thought you really liked the summons. I thought summons were your uh, your go-to thing. All right, let's see here. Uh, attack with combat arts. Cut off the leader. Oh, this is gonna go poorly. Um, Mystic arts. We shall stop I think here. these things are weaker than us, but I Mark. have no idea. Nope, they are not weaker than we are. I'll clean up this trash. We'll be lucky if we kill. Well, we should kill them with this. This isn't even worth my time. Oh no, we're we're just close. We're not quite there. Yeah, I was like, we, we'll be lucky if we kill. Yeah, we should kill, but no. It's always hard to estimate how much damage that final special attack will do. Like the final combat art. But sometimes you're like, oh, he's still got three quarters of his health left. And then it's completely annihilated. Like right there, he just did three quarters damage to that. It's crazy. It's really hard to judge. Oh, this is not going to go well. Good block. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Alright. Oh, these guys are dead, absolutely. Right here. Yep. You got like 25 summon characters, nearly max level. Yeah, like, like it is by far your favorite. How many expansions do they have out now? It's Is it two or three? Because I know the last one came out like probably six months ago or something like that. And I, I considered briefly, I was like, I really had fun, I enjoyed playing it, it was it was, a, it was a great game. I 
option, maybe? And then I'm like, yeah, but I was struggling to get through it at the end. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna request, I'm not gonna go for it. Sometimes I get in the mood for specific games, like, um, when I started replaying, or finishing, like, the extra, I was 10 episodes in, then I did, like, 60 more for Sword Coast Legends. I was really, really, really in the mood for those story-driven, old-school CRPG-type games. And when I started getting near the end of Sword Coast Legends, and granted, keep in mind, Sword Coast Legends was pretty easy overall. There wasn't a lot of challenge to it, so at that point, I was just kind of going through the motions. But I did start to lose interest in that. So I'm playing uh, Tales of Berseria, and then what I'm going to do is return to that. And then I'm going to maybe try to find a small title, like a, a shorter title, and play through that and finish that, and then go and actually play Pillars of Eternity 2. But, or sorry, Pillars of Eternity and finish that. But then Pillars of Eternity 2 is going to be coming out relatively soon as well. And there's a lot, I don't know, there's so many games, guys and gals, there's so many games. I've been doing good this week for content, which has been pretty fantastic. Uh, it's been a struggle, I'm not going to lie. I've uh, I've literally been waking up, getting ready, going to work, coming home, recording, uploading, going to bed at like 5 in the morning and then doing it all over again. It's, it's been it's been a bit rough. I'm glad the weekend came. And yesterday was a bit better. Yesterday I only had a three hour shift at work, so it was a lot easier for me. I came home, I got everything done a bit early, and then I stayed up and I actually played a few games of Dota. Lost half of the games that we played, but it was alright. It was alright. We won one game. Oh. See, I ran over here. I thought I was playing Elix for a minute. I tried to loot that flower. But, yeah. We won We won one or two that we shouldn't have won. And then we lost two horribly, really, really quickly that we really shouldn't have lost that badly. Like, I'm sure we would have still lost. Like, our draft was Let's not great. This. We probably would have still lost either way. But... It was it was pretty brutal. It was not an enjoyable experience. I was I was frustrated again. I was doing okay. I wasn't getting frustrated despite some mistakes and problems and whatnot that came up. But I got pretty frustrated in the last two because it felt like everybody just forgot how to play. It was awful. So many times they'd have everybody on their team almost dead, like literally two auto attacks or something like that to kill them. And nobody could hit anyone and they all lived every time and I was just like or I'd be like, yeah, you, the one place you shouldn't be is in that lane because we already have the tower. You need to be in top or middle to push. And then 15, 20 seconds later, they stayed there. They're trying to push the tier 2 tower. The team rotates in, slaughters the two people, and that was it. That was the tipping point. And then we just lost from that point on. We were dominating in the, the final game. The like, the early part, we had, like, it was like 7 exactly or 8. I, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm exaggerating. We had at least five or six kills, for sure, to like one or two of theirs, and we were definitely winning. Our carry was significantly more farmed than anybody on the map, and then <laughs> threw it all away. It was bad. Um, when I have to, but I always play with at least one person I know. I never just play solo. I need at least one person that I can feel like, whether they're great or terrible. At least one person that I can at least talk here. to or be like, oh my gosh, what are these people thinking? Usually that person's Mutanat. In fact, almost always that person's Mutanat. Very rarely do I play without him. Well, that wasn't too bad. So this is going to hurt. I don't know how bad it's going to hurt. Ooh. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. That hurt pretty bad. Ooh. I hope he doesn't do that again. Uh-oh. Oh, he only hit them. Really wish he would have attacked first. Come on. Do some damage. Take him down. Oh, good. Don't fight two of those at once. That's a bad idea. Ooh, Emma learned a Resonance Edge. Cool. Bane of the Winter King, kind of a White Walker theme. Uh, Alright, let's see here. 
The strongest character is the face melter, which you don't cast or anything. You just basically run by and they all die. Yeah, that makes sense. You, know, you never saw before and decided to make a new summoner character with the theme. Oh, gotcha. That's funny. Well, is it like a... Does it look wintry? Is that, is that the... Is that what the theme part means? Oh, and by the way, for anyone who is joining us right now, I just want to point out that I finally stopped being lazy, and I went and I did all the sign-up and the paperwork and everything I had to do. And we're a Twitch affiliate, and I want to show this off again because it's just cool, because it actually worked, and it doesn't look terrible. Like, I thought it was going to look really bad, but I actually have my own emoto emoticon thing for anyone who does subscribe, so that's kind of neat. Though I wish I could rename it now. Like, I'm like, oh, that's a terrible, like, the way they have the emoticon. They're like, your your prefix for the emoticon is Bumpy M. I'm like, what the heck is that? That's not what I want. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just put my name. But then it's like, Bumpy M and then a capital C, you know, Squiggums. I'm like, oh, just awful. So, whatever. It's fine. Well, that looks like a, just a nasty place up there. Let's do this. <sighs> Will be ice-based two-handed melee character with summons as a backup. Oh, you're so you're actually gonna fight your own battles instead of just relying on your your babies. Well, I I guess I can respect that. Like, that's one of Mutanus' things. He usually will play games. He'll either buy his way to victory if he can, or he will, um... What here. is it called? He'll go and... He'll, he'll have summons. He'll have his underlings, his minions, fighting for him. Well, that felt like it was a pretty weak group. Are these, like, just regular Manticore? I feel like not now. Aw, that's not cool. There we go. Got him. Frontline summoner with ice damage. Yeah, it does have a, a relatively extensive. Uh, what was that? That's the one that had constellations, right? So you got the different constellations, and then that gave you bonuses and all sorts of stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, if it, that's one of those games that yes, if you you like those games you play them the more you play the more you get into them the more you understand what you can do the more builds and different ways you can see you know going about and doing things so it definitely pays to be really what is it called uh, dedicated to the game as I believe it was Tara who said you're super dedicated call that a dedication or that's dedication yeah Because you definitely can get more out of it, as opposed to going, okay, and then going, what do I do? There's so many things, I can't figure out what I want to do. Like we did in our Let's Play. Alright, let's just slaughter these guys and be done with it. Ooh, Nimble Cutting Lunge 2. Pretty decent damage. Son of a... I need the other one. The other, the other one. one! The other one! <laughs> Alright. Tomorrow's stream will be slightly shorter than two hours, just so you know. So, I apologize if that's a problem for anyone, but it'll be, you know, the, the time. Is it 5 p.m.? 5 p.m. Eastern, probably till instead of 7 p.m. It'll be like 6.45 or 6.30 or something like that. It'll be a little bit shorter. So I'll probably go a few minutes over today and a few minutes over on Monday. Uh, the, fun, the funnest character is still Rain Man. Probably Ice Meteors, which proc Fire Meteors, then cast Aether Meteors, which cast huge ice shards falling from the sky. Not less complicated. You're not getting that overwhelmed early on. Yeah. Yeah. That that was one of the things. I was just like, oh my gosh, there's so much. And also, if you're doing it on camera, which was one of the, the problems, you... 
you're doing it on camera, one of the big problems there is that you don't have the time to look at, sit down and kind of really figure out what you want to do. It's even the kind of the same thing with, with oh no, we got raid locked. Darn it, why didn't my people rush him? That's going to be super bad. Um. Come on, let's kick some A. Okay, nope, totally fine. Not bad at all. He missed somehow? I, I don't really understand. Didn't miss that time. I'm like, no, it's going to be so terrible. And then it turned out it was absolutely 100% fine. Yeah, Not a problem whatsoever. Keep your HP up. Finish them off. I don't care. Do stuff. Keep it together. Restorative herb. Yeah. Oh, ah, uh, bad time to look over. Sorry. Trying to be a tough guy. He's dead. Excellent. It, it's different than the. Path of Exile skill tree. While that is very impressive and super large, the Grim Dawn one, it's different. Like, it's very expansive, very similar to Path of Exile, but you go down different things and then there's like constellations. It's all, all the stuff is like stars, which I guess is similar to. Is it Skyrim that had stars? I don't know. It's similar to that, but not as terribly lame or horrible or really. Other than there's constellations, I don't like it at all. Anyhow, so you'll go down this one line, and then you'll go, okay, well, there's a dragon here, and it and it's based off of like different types of damage or different classes or something. It's there's a lot of information. I don't remember all of it exactly, so I'm probably going to be slightly off. But basically, if you're going to build a character a certain way, there's specific things that you want to go and grab. So you'll go and you get like a serpent here, you'll get like a griffin down here, and there's some that are more simplistic and there are a lot less points that you need to use to get those. And there's others that are way, way larger, and then you get certain skills and special abilities out of them. And then you get a bonus for getting everything inside the constellation, if I recall correctly. So once you finish the constellation, and some of them chain into other constellations, and it's, it's very intricate, there's a lot there, and there's a ton of stuff. As you can tell, Antros has done 20 five summoning characters plus all the other characters that he's played so there's a lot there's a lot that you can do there oh there you go yeah it's it's crazy like there's a lot there and like i said it's a phenomenally well done game and for the type of game it is it's definitely in my opinion probably top five probably less than that probably top three i don't know if it's the best one i ever played i did enjoy diablo despite a lot of things i didn't like about it but for whatever reason, I had followed the story, and it was one of the first ones like that that I had played. So I followed the story all the way back from my childhood, and while I didn't like the direction it went, I was more invested in it than I was in Grim Dawn. That's not to say the Grim Dawn story wasn't good, or you know even great maybe, but like I said, those type of games in general, I just I lose interest. So the only one I was really ever able to firmly get behind was Diablo Three, or sorry, the Diablo series altogether. And three, like I said, had its own major, major problems and and bad plans or bad strategies or just they did bad stuff and it wasn't great. Take them all out at once. Eh, I guess you just do yeah, combat arts. Why not let them we diversify a bit? Them here. Hey, yeah. You play only hardcore place, mode now? Really? I thought that game was not super forgiving. Though more forgiving than a lot of the shenaniganery that you would get in Diablo 3. That game was just horrible if you didn't know what you were doing. You just like walk up and all of a sudden something super outrageously powerful would be there and you would just die. Well, we handled this guy really easy. There's still plenty of power left in these yeah, old bones. No, you know what? I don't know if that I've got more than one of those. I won't split that. You get addicted. I'll oh, see. I'm glad there's people who really like those. Oh, there, there is still. I found that it was in the higher difficulty levels, Antros, um, for the 
for Diablo 3 where you would just get like really, really, really bad combination like things because that's what they would do, right? Instead of coming across somebody who's just strong, he'd be strong with laser orbs that he could shoot out and then he'd freeze you in place and then you would just die. Like there were certain characters that it was a death sentence almost no matter what. Like there were unkillable things. Come on out! Or nearly unkillable things where you would have to die your way through okay, or have later. a lot of backup or help to get through it. Depending on your class and everything. Is it this is it the same way in Grim Dawn? And was there a harder difficulty level mode? Like that you would unlock, like for like a new game plus type situation? Because I don't remember that. I imagine there probably was. That does seem to be like an industry standard thing. But I can't say that I recall it hundred percent. Whether it exists or not. It's got three difficulties, so like, you beat it and then you go into like a nightmare mode and then like a hell mode, say for instance. Diablo 3 Disneyland. I want more of you, you guys are weak. Let's do this! And two new areas with the add-on. So, so, I think I asked, I don't know if you answered, if you did I apologize, I missed it. Um, how many expansions are there now? Is there three? I think there's three, or is it only two? Uh, like I said, you might have answered, I might have missed it. I tend to miss things occasionally. Or sometimes more than occasionally. Uh, yeah, we'll go Mystic Guards there. Come on, let's kick some A. You okay? Ow. How you like that? I like it pretty good. You did. I don't even need to hit that, but it's fine. I'll hit it anyway. Alright, once I get done with the combat, I'll check here. I mean, it's it's no-brainer combat, really, but just in case. I'd like to get the no-brainer combat a little bit quicker. See, there we go. We got quad slice out of that because we got the, the two in a row. Oh, that's later than I thought it was. Jeez. Right. Oh, very nice. I did technically finish everything I needed to today. I played like four or five episodes of Elix today. I wanted to get a bit more recording done, but of course... Alright. What I do when I drive home, because technically I guess we have a law here that you're not allowed to have a cell phone, like hold a cell phone or talk on a cell phone, unless you have an earpiece, or it's like in your car, like Bluetooth or whatever, um, while you're driving. Coming from Florida, there's way more traffic, way more stuff. I've conducted business, I've done all sorts of stuff with the phone while I'm driving. It was never a problem. Like, I understand it can be a problem and people are stupid and they do texting and all sorts of other stuff. Like, I understand. Sweet. It's not a I bad thing. To make game. it illegal, this I don't know. Just the beginning. It's just slightly frustrating. Anyway, long story short, Got it. I put the phone on speaker and I put it up in the visor. And I that's how I talked to my wife. And I was talking to her on my way home because I was wondering if she was home, if, she, you know, if dinner was ready or if I was going to have to eat up something. Just to figure out what I was going to do when I got home. And then I I left the phone up there, and I asked her to bring it in when she got home. And, you know, bring bring it in to me when she, got, when she got home. So she brought it in, but she left it upstairs in, like, her clinic room. And that's what I had my alarm on and everything else. So we didn't wake up on time this okay, morning to go to lunch at the time we wanted to. So essentially we were going to go to lunch around, like, 11, 15, 11, 30, something like that. And then I was going to do two... Two to three recordings, and then I was going to record with Colonel RPG, and then do more stuff after that. So I basically lost the three recordings in the morning, because we woke up late. It's just, eh. Let's do this. But I didn't get to bed till after 7 a.m. either, so... I probably needed the sleep. I probably needed the sleep. Alright. Hey, there's Colonel. What's going on, buddy? Alright, three difficulties, and two with the new add-ons, kind of... And roguelike dungeons. Oh, really? Three of them. Crucible and Malmuth. Crucible is an arena survival type. It's fine to hop into for an hour with a buddy. Uh, let's kick some A. Yes, he does say that. Uh, yep. You done already? Yep. Oh, your back's hurting. That sucks, man. <laughs> yeah, he's Canadian. Let's kick some A? Uh, I just want to see Die in Grim Dawn. Oh, man. Go to the add on area. Really? Wow. You guys must be terrible drivers there. I think that might be what it is. Like, there's really bad drivers in Florida, but it's a different type of terrible from Florida to here. Now, I don't know. I'm assuming 
throughout Canada, it's different from different areas. But like in Florida, people are hyper aggressive. You know, they'll speed up. They won't let you in. They do all this stuff. They make, you know, when there's accidents or whatever, they make mistakes. They're trying to do something they can't quite do. It's generally how it is. So you have to have that mentality. You have to be somewhat aggressive yourself, but still defensive. It's a weird, it's a weird balance that you have to strike driving in Florida. Here, I, I swear to you, people are just oblivious. I want to say they just don't pay attention. Also, they assume they assume a whole heck of a lot. Like they'll pull out in front of you, no matter how fast you're going or how close you are, and they'll just assume you're going to stop. Or like my father-in-law said when he was driving me somewhere once. He pulled out in front, like, there were his cars coming, and he just went, like, he pulled right out in front of them. And they were back a little ways, and, like, he, like, aggressively pulled out, like, you know, he, like, he, he gunned the car, which was surprised me. And then as soon as he gets in the lane, he's just, like, idling to speed up. So he goes across the street, and he's going, and then he's only going, like, five miles an hour, and then, like, the slowest acceleration. I'm like, what are you doing? Speed up. Oh, if they hit me, it's their fault. What? Who says that? Who has that mentality? Oh my gosh. I nearly lost my mind when he said that. Oh, that made me angry. But that goes to show what kind of mentality people have here. They're crazy. Just saying. It's a different type of bad driving here. So it would make sense if they don't want to have extra distractions because they're already insane. All right. Uh, let's see here. Poland, it's legal when loudspeaker or with earpiece. Yeah, that's essentially the same thing, car right here. What about car? Yeah, built-in systems, you, you should be able to do that, too. I'll hold it in your hand, yeah. I know what you're saying. People drive normally, that just, they suck in general. <laughs> uh, yeah, I it just, it amazes me, because, like, there's been times where people pulled out in front of me, and I'm like, if you did that in Florida, guaranteed 100% accident. Thankfully, since I wasn't able to work uh, for a long time, I got used to how they drive here. And I was never really in a hurry, so I was always just kind of like driving slowly. I wasn't really, I was driving the speed limit. I wasn't in a hurry. I wasn't rushing or anything. So it was always like, okay, you know, oh, this guy, what are they doing? You know, so I'm a little bit overly cautious now, but it actually, it's, it's a little nerve wracking now when I drove back to Florida the few times because it's much more fast paced. People are kind of cutting in and out and going all over the place. Whereas there it's, or here it's not really like that anymore. So, very strange. Anyway, let's uh, let's kill these, this guy. I don't know why I keep getting off on tangents. I've become the colonel all of a sudden. We shall stop them here. But right now, the game is just there to, to play through and enjoy. It's all about talking, having fun, chilling. At least that only hit one group this time, or if it hit the other group, it hit them very lightly. They hit him very lightly. Oh, I thought I missed that. I was like, no, Blade Dancer hit. Got it. And do you get an attack? Oh, no. We should strike at their this one's kind of tough. Oh, we shocked him. I wonder if that means he can't actually attack us. Not now. Don't matter. There's still plenty of power left in these old bones. Let me save things. Sorry. Uh, Oh, uh, same thing with any South American country. From what I've heard from people's telling me, like when they've driven there, from my father to a guy I used to work with back in Florida, so there's a few other people that I've talked to. Um, they're terrible. Like Puerto Rico, Mexico, like everywhere. Like lanes don't matter. Stop signs, signal lights, all that. None of it matters. They're just there. Because other people have them, nobody actually follows those. Like they'll they'll go up to like a like a red light, and if there's nobody coming, they'll just drive straight through, and nobody cares, nobody does anything about it. There could be two lanes of traffic. There'll be like four or five cars wedged into those two lanes, right up next to each other. It's crazy the stuff that I've heard. And I do never want to ever drive in those places. I assume it's similar to that in like China or in a lot of Asian areas. But also you have stuff like what a lot of bike riding and and people walking and just other things in China and stuff too. I imagine they probably have that in Mexico or South American countries. I thinking that driving in Poland was bad, but now when I moved to Italy, let's see. Yeah, England looks terrifying too from some of the stuff that I've seen as well. Not just because 
to me, they drive on the wrong side of the road. To me, that's not a big issue. Um, or on the other side of the road. I think that's the better way to say it. Because there's only... Doesn't... It's like half of Europe drives on the right side of the road and half of it drives on the left. And then, like, all of Asia drives on the left. Because I know more than just the U.S. and Canada drive on the right side of the road. Uh, instinct has gained a level. The hard work has paid off. Rookie driller. Okay, later. They drive on the wrong side. It's nearly as bad as not having a metric system. Yeah, I I don't know. There's things I like about the metric system, things I don't. Uh, Temperature-wise, I don't... Like, it makes sense. And I, I guess technically, is that even considered the metric system? Or is that just like the Calvins? I don't know. Anyway, my, my brain's not 100% on point today. But it very rarely ever is, let's be honest. Did stuff just jump out of the ground to eat me? It did. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I've obtained the Talon's Clutch. I think I actually have that. I think that might be the Claw of Celepile. Let's do the upgrade. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Let's UK go. drives on the left. Uh, Australia, Japan, Hong Kong, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. Okay. Yeah, say, I, I could have sworn that more countries drove on the right than on the left, in Europe, specifically. But I don't know much about the rest of the world as far as their driving habits. I assume, you know, you think places like Japan, China, I assume, as well. Stuff like that, they all drive on the left side of the road. But... I didn't know how much of Europe actually did. So it's only England? Um, this is the first winter I really drove a tremendous amount in the winter. Uh, but we've had a super mild winter, which is fantastic, by the way. <laughs> it's really nice to not have to... Like, last... What was it? I think it was Monday? Monday or, or Sunday night it snowed and then it snowed again on Monday. And then I was going to have to go to work on Tuesday or maybe it's just like one day shifted anyway whatever the case is overnight it rained and it all melted so like the entire driveway was clear and I didn't have to do anything it was so great I'm like yes because that's the only thing I, I don't really mind doing it if that's the only thing I have to do but if I have to go to work and do that it's just ugh, I don't like doing that it bothers me it's just not fun for me we shall stop them here. Like, okay, you know, get up, do that, and then go about my day here. But if I have to get up extra early to go to work and then make sure I have time to do that and everything, it just it stresses me out. I don't like having to do things before I have to do things. I'm just one of those type of people, I guess. That's why generally I don't do 90% of the time I won't record before I go to work on the weekdays. Even though I could technically wake up earlier to do recordings. By the time my voice wakes up and everything else, it's it doesn't happen all that often, we'll just say. Because I get stressed out. What if I get stuck having to do something, or I ruin something and I mess something up, and then I'm tired mentally, physically, whatever the case is. Sweet. And then I have to go to work, I have to go do something. I, it just kills me, so I generally try not to do anything or sleep, move my schedule so I wake up, then get ready and go to work, that type of situation. But driving, um, the few times I've driven in snow... Um, this winter has been pretty slippery. It's it's actually I nothing was super scary. Like I, I drove safe, but it's weird. Like you'll turn your wheel and you'll go around a corner, and you won't start turning right away. It's kind of freaky because you'll keep going straight. Like I had to come to almost a complete stop at this one point because I'm like, turn the wheel. I'm going slow, and the car is still just going in the straight line. I'm like, oh boy. This could get bad. I mean, there was nobody coming and there was no danger, but it was still a little bit stressful. So yeah, I can definitely see how people get into accidents and stuff. Like even coming up to like a, a stop sign, a stop light or whatever. I'm stopping way back. I'm not getting anywhere near it. I'm like slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. And I see people like when I'm driving and they're coming up to like a stop light. I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna kill me because they're, they're more used to driving and they're not as cautious. So they'll go right up onto it, and they'll just, you know, they'll just hit their brakes, and they'll they'll slide a little bit sometimes, but no one's ever slid out in front of me, so that's good. Alright. Now oh, what are you going to do, big ugly tree thing? Oh, he's got a little skull face. That's, that's adorable. It's not adorable. Alright. 
Uh, I'm actually just east of, a little bit north of Maine. So the northeast part of the U.S., I'm just slightly, so I'm basically in the southern part of Canada. But I'm all the way on the, not all the way to the east side of Canada. Like, there's one more province, I think, mean, yeah, province to the east of us. But we're pretty far east and we're pretty far south, so. We're leaving, leaving for a minute. Yeah. You know how to ride on snow, yeah. You all right? Well, you have to remember, I, I come from, Fort it's, it's funny to me because I guess I'm the same way in rain. Like, my wife will be super cautious and, like, really freaked out when it's heavy rain. I can drive without really being able to see in rain most of the time. Like, I'm like, alright, I know where the line is, wherever I'm going. And, um, I keep my eyes open for lights in front of me, and I can drive almost anywhere. It could be downpour, I can see, like, five feet in front of my car, and it's fine. Uh, we came back from Orlando after seeing a concert or something, um, a few years back. And I was really, really, really sick to my stomach. Like, we went to this place that was supposed to be one of the best burger places in the country. There's many, many awards given to this place. It's called Five Guys. I don't know if anybody's heard of that place. But they're like, oh, it's one of the most amazing things. They have accolades all over the walls from different places and stuff. I don't care. Just hit whatever buttons you want to hit. Um, the different places, the people coming in saying it's a great chain restaurant and this and that and everything else. And... The burger was, I guess the meat was probably fine, but like the bun was soggy and nasty. They had like canned mushrooms as opposed to fresh mushrooms on my wife's burger. She had like a mozzarella mushroom good. burger. Like the I'm bread was literally like just a soggy, like you could take it like this and it would just be like a third of the size that it was supposed to be. And it was all squished and it was soggy. It was like completely wet. And the top of the bun was kind of pretty mashed up and nasty too. Um, the fries were okay. They weren't anything to write home about, whereas that was one of their big things. Anyway, I ate that, and oh boy, I went to the bathroom like 40 times after eating that, and I still got super sick to my stomach. So when we finally saw what she wanted to see for the concert, we we had to drive home, but that was like a two-hour drive to get back home. So yeah, I sped a little bit, and it was in the middle of a like, torrential downpour of rain. Let's do this. It was good. My wife wanted to kill me that day. It wasn't great. For me. It's pretty good for her. Okay. Is there a push? Alrighty. Combat arts. Slam on status ailments. We didn't find the map to this place yet. I know there's a thing like across a bridge or something. There's like a a box, a treasure chest thing that we gotta open. Well, for three combat arts hitting, that did not do a lot of damage. That did a little, ooh, that did a, quite a bit of damage, actually. Okay, we gotta land these. And cross break. Perfect. I feel stronger yeah. than before. A lot of people really like it. I it was not good. That's one of the few times I'll agree with my wife. We don't always agree on everything that we like to eat or what have you. But it was not it was not a great place. And like I said, it destroyed my intestines. It was awful. Oh, I was so sick. I think yeah, like we ate that pretty early. And this was like 6 hours later and I was still feeling the effects of it. So I should tell you something. Now, granted, I very rarely ever feel good in my stomach anyway. Oops, that was the wrong button. I re very rarely ever feel good anyway, but very few foods affect me more than others. So it's like kind of a status quo, right? Like, I almost always feel bad no matter what I eat. So if something I eat makes me feel worse, then it's like, okay, that's not good. So, eh, it is what it is. Uh, five we guys, yes. How's that yeah, it is a weird name for it. So after going to the bathroom multiple times, oh, well, I was like, how are you feeling? I'm like, I think I still got like three and a half guys left. It was a stupid joke, but it was pretty funny for her. She she nearly lost her mind with that one. 
She's like, stop it. And then her laughing, of course, made me laugh, which made me feel worse. It was like, oh no, I'm perpetuating my own problems. Oh, it was not good. But I got to see, it was a, it was like a festival thing. It was actually, I know I'm good. I think it was at Epcot. No, not Epcot. It was at Universal Studios in Orlando. And they had a big, um, there was like six, six bands that were playing and I got to see one or two of the ones that I wanted to see and she got to see the one that she wanted to see like I was ready to not see any of it and just go home but I knew she really wanted to see it and it's her it was like one of her favorite bands if not her favorite one and I was like alright yeah no we'll, we'll, we'll wait we'll do it I don't really care for the band but whatever she liked the it I survived it and boy was I glad to get home oh man Woo. Take them all. Ooh, give offensive support. What does that do? Double time. What does that do? We shall stop them here. I don't know. We'll find out. Weakling. Assuming we don't kill everything immediately. I mean, these are weak creatures in comparison, so. Oh. So today when I went... Oh, they get a speed up bonus. That's cool. So today when I went and ordered lunch... I, I, I'm assuming more people than just Canada uses the same terminology, but maybe I'm wrong. If I say a hot turkey sandwich or a hot um, chicken good. sandwich, I hope I've grown stronger than in before. Canada, what that is is basically you get a piece of bread, like a regular bread you make sandwich out of, sliced bread, and then you put like turkey or chicken, whatever the meat is, inside that. And then you put another piece of bread on top, and then you just cover the whole thing in gravy. That's what they consider a hot turkey sandwich. To me, is you can go to a you can go to like a deli or wherever, and they make sandwiches. You can have like a chicken sandwich, which could have like sliced chicken meat or whatever it is, like a lunch meat, right? A cold cut, or you can get like a hot chicken sandwich, which would be like have actually chunks of chicken in there, and it would still be like a sub or something, right? Or like a like a like a bun or a burger roll or something. So to me, that's what a hot chicken sandwich is. I don't particularly care for the turkey, gravy, chicken, whatever it is. The, the first one I described, I don't particularly care for that. So when my wife is like, oh, we can have hot whatever sandwiches, I'm like, eh, that's just a waste of good turkey or chicken. They like it, so I mean, like, they'll make it, but she won't make it for me because she knows I don't like it. So today I'm like, oh, I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I'll get a, I'll get a hot turkey uh, or a hot chicken sandwich. It'll be fine. It was that thing and it was just awful. I did not like it at all. It was bad. Eh. I ordered the wrong thing. I ate it. it. When I say it was awful, like, it was edible, but not what I wanted. So, eh. It is what it is. Uh, Carl is a Burger King kind of guy. You got a craving for burger? I don't usually eat that many burgers, to be honest. It's very rare. Even when I go to a place that's like a burger place, I usually get like a chicken something. Let's find that I, I don't feel very good anyway. You got a mashed potatoes, sausage and stuff. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Though I also have to say that I like breakfast sausages. I don't like most other sausages except that I found spicy Italian sausage is my favorite. It's really good. Because like my my father is 100% German. You know, he's full German as were his parents, obviously. And I'm, I guess I'm half German. Let's and... Do they tried. They would eat a lot of different sausages and stuff when we would go over to my grandparents' house, and I just first, didn't care yeah? for any of them really. Like they were okay, I could Let's eat them, but just, they they didn't do it for me. Out. The spicy Italian sausage. Now that was good. I really like that one. So I'm glad I finally found one that I like. But like my my wife will get like an Oktoberfest sausage, eh. or they'll just get point. a bunch of different types. And I just I've tried a bunch and I just don't care for them. Blasphemy, I know. Blasphemy, I know. I'm not even... Oh. For me, it's still... It, and it's not just chili beginning. fries. It's chili cheese fries, and it's chili cheese fries. Because you have to remember, Putin has uh, cheese in it, too. So the chili cheese fries is the winner. But not by a lot. It's close. That's one thing that I say Canada has come up with. That's really good. However... However, there is different... I'm having a heart attack or so not. Hopefully not really. I'm having like some sort of small chest pain. It's not good. I think there's like air in my lung trying to burst. It's fine. 
Um, anyway. There's different gravies that they use, and it depends on what you like, which ones are better. I think I prefer the beef gravy as opposed to a chicken gravy, where a lot of places have chicken gravy over beef. They're all still pretty darn good. And um, at at the movie theater where I work, they have a pulled pork poutine, which is pretty darn good, too. That might be my favorite. The pulled pork poutine might even edge out chili cheese fries. But they have all sorts of stuff. They have like bacon poutine, pulled pork. Um, there's apparently one restaurant that's we shall stop them here. not the one that's near us, but it's like across town somewhere, so it's not that far away. But they have like 27 different flavored poutines. I'm like, why was this kept for me? I still haven't gone to it yet, but that's something I want to go check out at some point. So try something different. But again, those aren't healthy, and I don't get them very often. We're talking maybe one every three or four months, if that. Sometimes even longer. So again, I don't eat well, but I don't eat super terrible either. So... That hurt a little bit. Smash him from the sides. Could we attack before he does? Oh, that wasn't good. good effort. But he's dead anyway. Blade Dancer 2. I hope I've grown stronger than before. I, I find there's a... I find there's a little bit of a difficulty because I don't know what they do to make chili cheese fries from the places that I go to uh, or that I've, I've gone to in the US. Um, the chili is like, it's thicker. It's like a thicker chili, like the, the, it's not watery or at all or anything at all. It's like a thicker sauce. So it's almost like a meat sauce with whatever else is in there with it. And to me, that's what really makes it good as opposed to... When I've made chili myself, it, tur it turns out to be a little bit more watery. I mean, it's not t horribly watery, but it's a little bit more watery, right? It's more liquid than like a thick, um, let's see, I'm trying to think of the consistency. I mean, it's not as thick as oatmeal, but maybe like an eggnog consist consistency. It doesn't taste like it. It doesn't look like it or anything, but that thickness of, you know, the eggnog, something along those lines is what I usually will get from like chili places. That have like chili cheese fries. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? Can I make it? Only time will Let's tell. And I'm not sure how they do that. There's a few other things that I always wonder in cooking how they do. That's one of them. Like, how do they thicken that up? Is it just like they add something like flour to it? I, I'm not sure. Chunk something? Okay. You still get fries. I can't chill it. Oh, what is that? Interesting. Oh, I'm going to be making um, steak sandwiches on Monday. I have no idea how to do it. I have a recipe. It looks good. It looks easy enough to do, too. And I really like steak sandwiches. It's like a Philly cheese steak sandwich. If you guys have any idea what that is. Uh, there's industrial thickeners that don't add taste. Or use a starch, yeah. Yeah, that's generally what I do. Like, I'll cook it a bit longer. Now, what I do like about my wife's soup is it always turns... It doesn't end up as a soup by the time it's done. It ends up almost like just... It's super thick, and I love... Like, I love that. Whereas her father will complain about it. Because he wants the stuff that's, like, very brothy and just take it. Like, everything is separated. I like to be able to, like, stab into it and get, like, almost, like, almost an oatmeal thickness. Like, the, the chicken is kind of shredded. Like, if it's chicken soup... The chicken's kind of shredded, and she uses barley, and oh, it's just so good. She can't make soup a lot, because, like, she'll make enough for, like, 20 servings. I'll eat, like, the whole thing in, like, two days. It's, it's terrible. I get so sick, but I love it. I don't know. I really like soup. It's great. Most people don't like soup. It's weird. Like, my mother does not like soup. My father loves soup. Um, I don't think my sister really cares for soup, either. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Chuck. Oh, Chuck. Okay. Ah! I missed. When you hit, you really hit. Yeah, to me, that's just the perfect thing. Just like uh, if I make fries, and I do really good with deep frying fries, by the way. I've never worked at a fast food restaurant, just FYI, but my father, probably 10, 15 years back now, gosh, I'm getting old, 
Um, he bought a deep fryer for the house because he's just, you know, the oven fries never come out right if you ever buy fries from a store and you cook them in the oven. They're edible, but they just, they're never the same as if you go to like a fast food place or like a restaurant and you get like really well cooked fries. So he bought a deep fryer and we started playing around and turns out I made the best fries. I mean, really good, like really good, like crispy, just well done. I mean, they're so amazing. I, I love them. Again, stuff that I really do well and I really love to eat. I, I don't eat them often, so it makes me sad. But no, you don't need to double fry a fry. You just need to leave it in longer than most people do. I know I'm good. Like some Excellent. people do weird stuff with fries. Like at the at the theater where I work, they they do double frying too, but that's just to make it quicker. So they'll like put it in the deep fryer for a little bit, take it out, and then it's sitting there, but it's no longer frozen at that point. And then they'll put it back in when somebody orders it. So it's only like a couple minutes for the, the finished cooking, and then they you know serve it to them. Whereas to me, I'm thinking, that's a lot of time where bacteria is just sitting there growing, but they can't do that for long. Like, they all have to throw stuff out once, you know, like four hours have passed or whatever it is. So I'm like, I'm sure it's safe. It's just weird because every other place that you go that does frying, deep frying, it, they just do it all in one shot. Well, I've never heard of a place doing double frying before. Unless it was something where you had to do like a... Like, this is only for fries, not stuff where you, like, get a batter, you fry it slightly, and then you, like, inject cheese or something into it. Because, yeah, then you would have to deep fry it twice. You do. You just have to leave it in longer than most people do, Colonel. Get your mind out of the gutter, buddy. Let's do this. I saw you touching the rib bone earlier. I don't want to hear it. Hit him hard, hit him fast. Yeah, that's another thing. I've tried making fries from scratch. They just aren't very good. And maybe, maybe that's the key. Maybe you do have to fry them twice. Like, uh, I have a thing where you can get a potato and, like, put it in this thing and you squish it and it cuts them into fries, right? And it's just never as good as, like, store-bought, pre-done fries that you just, like, reheat, right? So you deep fry it, though, when you reheat it and it just comes out amazing. Or ones that have seasoning in we it. We shall stop them here! Like, let's see, what are the three best? The three best fries that I can deep fry... Are there crinkle cut fries? Those are amazing. Really good. My preferred fry to cook. Waffle fries come out really amazing. And so do curly fries. Straight fries, they're okay. But they're they're kind of meh. Steak fries are terrible. I do not like cooking them. They don't come out good at all. Uh, let's, let's see what else. I'm sure there's a few others. But those are the main ones that you actually be able to, to, to use or cook or whatever. Wobble fries are amazing, uh, curly fries are amazing, and the crinkle There's fries are amazing. So, of power those are the three I would recommend bones. if you're ever going to deep fry. And just leave them in, just like I said, just a little bit longer than most people would. Like, they're not going to, unless you have like a super deep fryer where it's like way hotter than it should be, they're not going to like burn, and if they start to burn, you, you definitely left them in too long, but you can leave them in longer and they won't be changing color right away, so you're like, oh, okay. Come on out! But yeah, I found that that's the key to doing it, is you just have to leave it in a little bit longer than you would originally think you should. Like, oh, it's okay, it's later. done cooking at this point. You can take it out. Just leave it in. They'll start to float a little bit, and then you're like, okay, now it's starting to get there. And then when you take the tray out of the deep fryer, they're all stuck together as like one fry, mm -hmm. so you're like trying to pull them apart with a fork or something. It's all funny. Right. But it's really awesome. good. New potatoes are for boiling or baking. Let's... Potatoes are here are old. Yeah, that's another weird thing that I, I've never experienced having come from Florida. Is we didn't really, I mean, maybe we did, I just never knew, but we didn't really have old and new, like, vegetables, produce, or potatoes or anything like that. Because, you know, we lived in a tropical climate, essentially. Stuff grew year-round. It was always it was always in season. Whereas here, we're talking about old potatoes, new potatoes. I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? What does that even mean? I don't understand. Yeah, I should probably deal with you too. Let's Alright, well, I think we're about done with this place. We can go out and... I don't know if I want to do the next story mission or if I want to... Brilliant, what yeah. I want to do exactly. I know if we go to the Heroic Ramparts, we can still go there. We don't necessarily have to advance the storyline past that, but that's going to be a little bit of a nastier place for us, so... Maybe we do that. We shall stop them Scored here. potatoes. <laughs> Well, right now we're just basically doing 
We're just in an area. We're just clearing through one side to the other. Making sure we get all the loot and stuff out of it. There's not much happening. This is just basic, you know, trash clearing if you want to give it like an MMO feel. You're sending your people through after every battle they're fully healed. That's cool. I, I like that. I wonder if we're going to be able to offensively support, like, other groups as opposed to just our own. That could be very useful. Have maybe a weaker group. Well, again, sitting... I don't know. From the sides. There's so much to this game that I won't understand. But we'll figure it out. Alright. Breeze through this. Come on. There you go. Good job, Pagus. Or Pagus. Nailed it. Nailed it. And dead. The four winds blow. Sweet. I must grow stronger. Oh, sweet. My this weapon actually leveled up. Hey, and Pagus became a marauder. I don't even know what that means, but good for him. I classes are a mystery in this game to me. You have to oops, you have to actually look stuff up to really understand things. All right, let's go take a look at our equipment. Oh, both of our weapons leveled up. That's nice. Cool. Do we have any new ones that are better? No, we don't. Alright. Alright, I don't care anymore. Leave me alone. Oh! Okay, I care. Don't... Gosh, that was quick. Is there any reason to come over to this thing? Ah! He's faster than I am! Run, man! Don't want to fight the little baby thing one more time. Rush, I have need of... Plantae fluid? Yummy. Thank you, then. Let's not waste any time. Hey, you rush! You look bored. Let's go find some Grand Spatterhorn. Okay. Hey, Misty, yeah, I know. All right, I, uh, let's go turn our quest into Baldurosa, and then we'll, we'll head back up to the heroic ramparts. Oh, boy. Let's see here. Uh, you made fries today. Ah, oh, you like soggy fries? There's something wrong with you. You can't get. Oh, that's unfortunate. Learn to sweat, and that would make sense. Yeah, the one thing I can't figure out. Like, I tried cutting them really thin too to like make, not not like true potato chips, but like. Really thin slices of potatoes that would like get deep fried to almost be like a fry, and while it kind of worked, it didn't it didn't dry out as much as I'd like, so they were still kind of soggy in the middle. Like I played around with the deep fryer quite a bit, and I just couldn't quite figure out exactly how to do it. So I need some way to dry out the potato a bit before I do the actual deep frying. I think that's the big problem with uh, trying to make homemade ones for me. Alright, let's see. Store potatoes. Uh, let's see. Let's store them for like four months if you come old. You miss them in time. Times when you went to the market and have like five kinds of potatoes for different use. Potatoes, and that's all. Italians don't know anything about food. What? Potatoes is an. Oh! Yeah, I suppose. You guys. Potatoes are a starch. Most people. Well, Italians are known for noodles and. and Pasta or pasta, if you want to use the Canadian pronunciation. Um, so, can someone give me the, the actual difference that makes sense to me? Because, like, people have tried to explain it to me before. Like, when I think of spaghetti, I'm like, oh, spaghetti noodles, right? It's it's pasta. But what's the difference between a pasta and a noodle? I, I've even looked it up, and I'm reading the, the description or the definitions, and I'm like, What? Like, noodles can be made out of more than just whatever starch. Like, I, I don't know. I, I honestly don't understand. Like, to me, noodles and pasta were always um, interchangeable growing up with what I've learned from my parents and everything else. We never said pasta. We would always say noodles. So, it's just strange. So, someone sure surely has the answer to that for me. Yeah. They do have a lot of amazing... Uh oh, oh, you're in Italy, right? Somebody's in Italy? That's you, right, Kara? Um, do they... The pizza that's in Italy, is it cold? Explain that, because I've heard about this, and I don't know exactly 
how to describe it to people. So the original pizza, and the way pizza is supposed to be eaten and done, from what I understand, the original concept from Italy is it's a cold thing and then something else. Like, you have all this stuff and you can just make your own, like, you have like a dough thing, or I guess like a pita bread thing. And you pull all the stuff on, you put the sauce and whatever on, and you just like make your own pizza and you eat it. Is that how it works? Okay, so in short, pasta is with egg, noodles are done without. Okay. I think you know, but a cat got my tongue. Well, the, they also have stuff that are egg noodles, which are... Do, I don't... I don't know. So, is all are all pasta just... Is it all egg based? Like, I honestly don't know anything about making noodles or pasta or any of that, so I, I don't even know what pasta is made out of. I have no idea. This is stuff that I haven't researched or looked at or really cared to figure out, so... I'm sure I'm a terrible person for it, but I have no idea. Ho, traveler! This is the front gate of Baltarosa, the merchant's lot. Traveling merchants stop here to take a break during their long trips or journeys to talk shop, to talk shop with other merchants. You should take a load off, too. I should. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Hey. Whoa. Hi. What are you working with back here? Oh gosh, the camera! Oh, you have like a duckbill platypus tail. That's that's disturbing, but fun. I don't think I'd ride one of those. Hey, he's got the derpy ears from the uh, the the kiss the quisit thing. I can never say him. The Q S I T I guys, quisit guys, Qsit guys. There we go, Qsit guys. Warrior woman, you're looking well. Hey, uh, Miss Young Maiden. Ms. Young Maiden, right. So, could you not call me that? It sounds ridiculous, to say the least. Well, it's not like I know your name. Oh. Anyone want to guess what her name is? Anyone? I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Hey, Lord... Is it Lord Aki? Sure, we'll go with that. Lord Aki. Ah, you're still playing Gemstone 4. Good. So, you're, you're having fun with it. Uh, what class did you decide to go with? Um, I don't know if you ever told me what class you were playing. Uh, different grains are used. Uh, you'll you'll have a bit to write. All right, thanks, Kara, for explaining it. Because, like, I've tried to explain it, but I don't I don't remember all the details for how pizza is in in Italy. And somebody told me they said that they actually went on a trip. It was like a teacher or something, some lady that came into where I was working, and she was one of the like regular customers. And she told me that she went on like a field trip to or like a class trip, senior trip or whatever it was with a bunch of students to Italy to kind of learn about their culture. And they all wanted to try, you know, traditional um, Italian pizza, like the original pizza. And she warned them it's not going to be what they think. And they, you know, if they want to do this, they have to make sure they're respectful and eat it no matter if they don't like it or whatever, because, you know, this is all part of the learning experience and everything else. And she explained it, but this was like 10 years ago, and I don't remember all the details. So. Ah, you tried a duelist. Oh, was that, um, were you trying to dual wield as a warrior? Okay, Chinese are made from lye water, some at least. Interesting. Interesting stuff. All right, anyway, anyway, did anyone actually guess on the, her name? The lady in front of me's name? She should look very familiar to anyone with eyes who's actually paid attention to this stream thus well not necessarily today but in general from her garb and her outfit her hair even and her face looks a little bit less beat up than another face that we've seen but she should look very familiar to many of you she's not lightning but that is a good shout that's that's not a bad one is really the region okay so what level did you end up getting up to lord Aki? the name's emmy Nice to meet you, for real. Finally, I'm... You're Rush Sykes. Call you Rush, right? What? C can you see into my brain? Perhaps. Of course, it wouldn't be very difficult. Ugh. So. Emmy, huh? Does does she remind you of anyone in particular, maybe? Like... I am Emma Honeywell. Like Emma Honey Honeywell? No? 
Doesn't look familiar in any way, shape, or form? No? No? It's good? Oh, oh, also here, one of Athlum's four generals, stern and driven, but dedicated to Athlum. And her only daughter. Hmm. Forebode much? Uh, okay. Yeah, so she's she's Emma's daughter. I'm not sure why Emma's with us in the group near her daughter that she's waiting for back at the Valeria Heart that we're supposed to meet. But she doesn't say anything to her daughter. It's weird. It's a little weird. It's weird. It's one of those game video game logic things, I guess. I, I don't really understand. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So we did that. Uh, Union. That's where I want to go. How do I get there? There it is. Montrose, are you still alive or did you disappear? Did I miss you saying bye? And if I did, I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, creepy guy. The desert's plenty dangerous, but it's worth braving it for all the treasures hidden out there. Rumor going around the guild is that beneath the Great Sand Sea is the ruins of the greatest of the old kingdoms. The Kingdom of Glenis. Would I give to get even a look at that loot? Intellectual Silver Silver Falcon. My mouth is not wanting to work. <laughs> Ugh, every night I've been kept up by that stupid bell ringing. What the heck, didn't you know? It's the ruins outside of town, the Mokato Mokato Castle. I remember being there. I don't remember anything about it, I just remember the name. Centuries ago, it was this beautiful silver castle. The ruler did all sorts of rituals there. It was celebrated in song, yada yada. Of course, now it's all run down, overrun by monsters. That's just how it goes. Thing is, in the middle of the castle is this huge bell tower. Sometimes it'll ring at night, even though the place is deserted. Ah, <sighs> gives me the creeps. Yeah, I bet. Oh, oh okay, you tried a rogue first, dual-handed. Yeah, that's what I was trying to play as. It's okay, but it feels like you don't get to use a lot of your rogue skills because you have to train into extra stuff to make it work for your dual handed, or your two, your dual weapons, your two hand dual wielding, that so uh, she's in the army, she can't treat her like a daughter, it's not really an army thing, it's just her daughter, and her daughter's out doing a family what was it they have a family tradition where they leave home to go and find remnants or something. She talked about it when we were on the, the solo mission with one another. Or was just Emma and I going to find Rush's mom. And yeah, I don't know. It's just very strange. I, I, like I said, I don't understand why she just doesn't talk to her daughter even though we're meeting her all over the place. It's like the fourth time we met her. Now granted, this might be the second or third time that we met her with Emma in the party. So it makes no sense. But it's fine. All right, came in here for a reason. I do want to see what units are. Ooh, hey, there's a. Uh, what are these things called again? The Sovani, right? There's a Sovani warrior here. He's really expensive. I have some stuff I can sell though. I want him or her. But that's not really why I came here. I wanted to see this. Oh, good. We actually finished some more stuff. So what are we gonna get? Blueprint. I have obtained Scatter Swarm. I've learned a new formation. Cool. Two flasks of natural oil. I have a Marauder in the party. We just obtained Mystic Shield. It's a new formation. The Battle Chains of Steel. Create 50 Battle Chains. Okay. Well, that's easy. We can keep coming back like every time we go out and fight because we keep getting higher and higher Battle Chain numbers. 10, 30, 50. We're always over 100, so I can come back all the time. Uh, let's see if he if she's in the army she can, uh, he has a Digimon name probably a, a Nussnacker hmm. okay so here we are what is it the Monster Slayer these are the ones so if we go back to the Gasoline Caves Blue Jaws might be there we might be strong enough to take that on don't know we might be the Dominator and Blackdale I don't think we're strong enough for that. The Hellbiter and the Great Sand Sea, definitely not strong enough for that. And then we gotta obtain three copper ore. We could do that real easy. How have I not done that one yet? 
All right, well, I'm going to go sell some stuff, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to buy that dude. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet. I think I need to wait until the next storyline advancement where I get more people to throw into the group. But dude seems pretty cool. So we're going to go over here and we're going to sell to you. Maybe. Hold on. Oh, these are... Ooh. Nope, it's garbage. It's a staff. Uh, I'm going to keep the broadsword because I need to create something with it eventually. But I'm not going to do it right now. A betrothal band. Huh. No thanks. I'm sure I can sell some of these things, but I have no idea what I need and what I don't. So at some point, we're just going to go and we're going to go on a selling spree. We're going to sell, like, everything, and it's going to be great. I am going to sell all of these, though. We're going to end up with a decent amount of money, so I'm not worried. And there we go. We're up to 33000 whatever. It's fine. Okay... Yeah, we're going to go back in, we're going to buy that person, then we're going to continue on. I know we're buying people. It's like we're slave traders here. Yeah, one of the cool things, uh, Lordaki, that they, they did on Gemstone 4, they... Everybody who's been away for however long of a time, it was like a specific amount of time from Gemstone, they could actually have their accounts reactivated around Christmas time for like 60 days for free, so... I have both my accounts reactivated, but I... I knew it was going to happen as soon as I reactivated. I just haven't had the time to play, which really sucks. But, yeah, that's that's kind of the story there. But it's still cool. I got to see all my old characters and see, you know, you can move around with them and whatnot. Me. Sorry, there's no one available at the moment. All right, cool. So, let's just see. Is there anyone I want to get rid of that I don't particularly care for? I guess I can get rid of Veronica. She's not overwhelmingly amazing. We can have the other guy in there. Likewise, I could move Loki over, get rid of Veronica. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Alright, so... Union board. Change formation. Also, we should have some stuff here. What is this? Scatter Swarm. Mystic Shield greatly improves the Mystic Defense of lead ranks, but reduces mobility. What is Scatter Swarm? Sacrifices defense to improve attack of left rank, uh, left flank and mystic attack of bright. That's interesting. I mean, I don't, I don't want that, but maybe. That's interesting. I could have sworn I. Oh yeah, it was, it was Pincer's Grip, right? That was like an, an improved uh, something. I'll, I'll check those in a minute. Improves attack of front line and defense of flanks enhances slashing, which should be the same as... Yeah, it's the same as the arrow of Athlum. That doesn't make sense. Attack of flanks. Huh. Alright, hold on. I want to check something else before we do any of this. Sorry. Special items. Alright, what is this? That's not what I want. Um, Talon's Clutch. It supplements the formation pincer, Pincer's Grip. So, since I have Pincer's Grip now, shouldn't I be able to... Shouldn't I be able to use Talon's Clutch? Or it's a scroll fragment. What does that mean? Used to learn the formation. And supplements the formation cascade. I don't know how that works yet. That's one of those things I don't know yet. Okay, so here we go. We got the, the pizza answer here. Pizza was not invented as a cold dish. Ah, in old days it was food for poor. Now you have places where you have pizza on display. You choose what you want. And they will reheat. And this is considered a snack. And it's served all day. You still can get round pizza freshly made, but they're but only in the evening. Also, they have a pl they have places specialized in classic round pizza. Main difference between Italian pizza and the U.S. is crust. It's thin, and it's not overpowered with toppings. There is something that you said plain pizza just 
a bit of salty dough, but it's sold only in slices. Do they put cheese? Do they put cheese on the pizza? The guild officer and the slave trader. <laughs> You're the slave owner. Ah, there you go. Simple as I could get. It's weird here because, um, I guess in the U.S., the traditional, like, classic pizza was pepperoni and cheese, right? That's the classic pizza. It's what I've always heard from everyone. It's always been classic pizza. Here in Canada, according to my wife's father, because he was actually around when pizza was invented or brought to other markets, um... First off, he said he looked at it and he was like, that looks like a bunch of crap. Who would ever eat that? It looks disgusting. Typical old person, right? <laughs> it's just like, ah, oh, it just looks like garbage. It's terrible. It looks awful. And what they had with their original pizzas, or at least when he finally found out about them and he saw it for the first time, and I guess eventually tried it, was... Um, it was pepperoni, salami, and cheese. I actually prefer thin crust too if I can get it like even thinner than normal. Like the normal pizza, like I don't eat the actual the crust that goes around it. So if I can not have that at all, that's totally fine. I don't know. I just don't like it. I'm not a I'm not a big bread eater. I don't particularly like bread. All right, it's very strange. Anyway, let's let's get our unions situated and get out and start doing some murder death killing. All right, I think I'm going to move to this, which may unlock something. I don't know. It looks like it's going to actually lower our attack. Improves attack of the arrowhead and the defensive flanks. Improves the attack of the front line and the defense of the flanks. But the problem is, rush can't be on the front line. That's why it lowers our... Well, it just lowers our defense. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to do it. Leave it to me. All right, Loki, you're getting replaced by Cademan. Okay, that's fine. And then we're going to go Union to Pagus, change the formation. Mystic Defensive Lead Room. Uh, enhances Mystic Evasion. I kind of want to try this. Sacrifices Defense to improve... They're already the weakest union, like they have the lowest amount of HP, so I feel like that's not the play. I'll just leave him with the arrow of Athlum, I guess that's fine. You can always Agus, Veronica is gonna be replaced by Loki, Nora, that's everything good. I don't know if they got stronger or weaker, but it's fine. Well, that's the plan there. Pizza plus tomatoes or pizza plus tomatoes plus mozzarella. So the pizza in in Italy is literally just the dough, huh? It's not even con like to me. If you don't have at least the 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 dough and cheese, it's not a pizza. So it's weird when people order pizza without cheese. It's just like what? That's just me. That, to me, I need that. Also, I don't like an overabundance of tomato sauce on my pizza. Like I don't want none, but I don't want a lot. Whereas a lot of people like real heavy sauce. I always get really light sauce. The the there's different ones. There's like um, a spinach Alfredo pizza. That's really good, which is weird because it doesn't sound like it'd be good, but that's really good. And there's also a Philly cheesesteak pizza that Domino's puts out. I've tried it from Papa John's. It's terrible, absolutely awful. I will never eat it again. Domino's puts out an amazing Philly cheesesteak pizza. I just get it without onions because I hate onions. But it doesn't, it doesn't have a... It has a different sauce. It's no tomato. It's all like a white-based thing. It's really good. The cheese is there. It's got some mushrooms. It's got green peppers on it. It's just, ah, oh, it's amazing. It's really expensive, though. It's like $18 for, like, a medium pizza. It's crazy. Is it crap, uh, uh, Capricos? I have no idea what that is. I don't know if it's Italian or fake. I what I know isn't Italian. Oh, I assume it's not Italian. I'm sure it's an Americanized version. Though, actually, maybe I'm wrong. Because, like, fettuccine Alfredo and all the stuff like that, that's all stuff that came from, or at least was modified from Italy. So, who knows? Who knows? Alright, so we did we did the changing there. Uh, I need to find a person to dump this quest. Let me get back to killing stuff. 
it's nice to have all, all you guys here talking and stuff. It's, it's, I said, this isn't a game that I need to 100% focus on unless there's like story, ooh, storyline stuff going on. So when we're just going through killing stuff or whatnot, it's nice to be able to sit back, talk, read what you guys have to say and whatnot. What's the critter sitting outside? That's my partner, of course. Traveling merchants like us make our way by taking a wide range of goods back and forth across the desert. It's a harsh trip, but with my faithful companion by my side, the journey ain't so bad. Whoa there, partner. Really? There's a T. Partner. Hold your horses. No matter how much you offer, I ain't gonna let go of my faithful steed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bartender's daughter. I don't want to believe it, but the rumor is that there's a woman plotting to assassinate Duke Cubine. Well, that sucks. That's the latest news, daddy. Assassination, what a dangerous world this has become. Beloved daughter, I think I'll have to make your curfew earlier. If only he would talk like that, that would be great. I, I see. <laughs> it's fine. Welcome to Cafe Moondust. Hey there, did you know? There's a city even past the Great Desert. At the southern tip of the world, sitting at the base of Mount Altona, is a town of hardy and pig-headed miners. What, you want to know what's in the western desert? The old adventurers used to say that the west of the west was a forgotten town, but no one knows if it's true or not. No one's ever come back from there alive. Hmm, I wouldn't waste my time worrying about that place. I would never allow my daughter to go there either. Uh, what are you complaining? Oh, and you talk to people and just chill in the game? Yeah, because everybody hates you, Colonel. Except me, because I'm, of course, a super nice guy. <clears throat> Except when you really, 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 really purposefully try to drive me insane and succeed mildly. The Silver Falcons have sworn to protect order across the continent. We act without regard for borders. There is only one world, after all. We are currently in the middle of an important strategy session. Please, do not interrupt. I'm just going to be over here. Hey, you look like somebody who's looking for a... Nothing. A note. A thousand years ago, there was a prosperous country in the middle of the desert. The guard that protected it was unmatched in skill. That strength threatened the Imperator. Imperator? I, I can never figure it out. And he set his armies against them. When the dust cleared, the desert country was destroyed. However, the spirits of the warriors from the defeated land still lurk within the desert sands, awaiting the perfect time for revenge. My great-grandfather first told me that tale when I was just a little boy. Man, was I spooked. I was always home by dark after that. Even now, I don't like to go out, uh, go to the bathroom alone. <laughs> Thank you, old creepy guy. Who are you? You're, you're Jorgen. I think I need to talk to you. Maybe? Oh, what happened to your face, man? Oh, sorry. You there. Who are you? Do you know me? Do I know you? I know my name is Jorgen, but I don't know anything else. What sort of man was I? Where did I live? What was my job? What activities did I enjoy? I have no memory of any of it. Your talisman, it... Ah, oh, sorry, I thought you'd remind me of something, but I guess not. Wait, this could be a good method. Ingenious, even. I'm fairly certain that asking you a favor at our first meeting seems somewhat rude. But I want to do whatever I can to regain my memory. Here is what I ask. Could you find things that seem as if they could have some connection to me and bring them here? I feel as if viewing them may trigger a memory. <laughs> Even if I could only have one, I would be forever grateful. Well, see what I can do. Be happy, memories suck. Mm, let's see, mozzarella cheese, Italian baked ham, mushroom, artichoke, and tomato. It's Italian. Oh, okay. Except no artichoke in Sweden. Uh, when do you do what? When I reply to chat and don't focus on the game. It's Jorgen! Oh, boy. That's a thing. Uh, also, you have a pre-backed pre pizza. I baked, I guess. Uh, you need this. Uh, you get the slice size, and you will need to get it reheated, Jorgen. But this is wrong. There must be a space after... Oh, boy. 
Yeah, your famous rants. I tend to rant slightly less, and it's a little bit more cohesive, and like there's a point, generally. Generally, there's a point. I'll trust your intuition. If you can find three things that really call to you about me, then please bring them to me. I'm sure it will help. Are you going to teleport me somewhere? Nope. Oh, no, it's another open-ended quest. Well, that's kind of poopy. Well, I guess we should deal with the upstairs. Rants of the point are boring. I'm to meet with my beloved, but she has baffled me with the meeting place she's decided. Mojado Moch Castle. It's an ancient castle left to ruin. Now it's only home to legions of monsters and beasts. Why in the world would she select such a dangerous place to meet? No matter how I try, I cannot make heads or tails of the decision. Nevertheless, I will go to meet with Charlotte. I would walk through a raging battlefield for just a glimpse of her smile. That said, I am no fighter. Good sir, might I request your assistance as a bodyguard within these ruins? You've got my gratitude. I am Paris. Not to be overly single-minded, but let us hurry to Mojato Castle. For love the bell tolls. Indeed. Well, that sounds lovely. By the way, did the colonel tell you that I, I performed brain surgery earlier today? Because I did. Would my Charlotte really have come to such a place? <laughs> that voice, it's Charlotte. Something must have happened to her. I was meant to be Charlotte at the castle's bell tower. Let's hurry. Why is your voice getting so high, dude? Calm down. Uh, I like talking only to those deranged enough that they'll understand what I'm saying. I didn't actually kill anyone. I saved their lives. I'm a superhero, apparently. My brain surgery techniques worked fantastically well. They were a bit gruesome and seemingly a little overly brutal, but, eh, I mean, it was effective. Oddly. Oddly effective. Gross, but Let's effective. Wrong button again. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. That is a long thing. That is not pizza. About to be Easter versus Christmas. Oh, 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 that's so cool. Look at him. Look at him. Look at my, my dude with the weird pointy hat thing now. He's got two two handed weapons. Since he's got four arms, it works. That's amazing. I made a right choice. I made a very, very right choice. Okay, uh, what are we doing? We're killing stuff. Oh, we have like offensive support buffs now, too? Yes. Uh, Mystic Arts for you. I guess Mystic Arts for you too. Go do things. I want to we see the new guy. Them here. Mystic Power! Mystic Power! <laughs> it's SS Pest. What? Don't die. Oh my. Wait, wait a minute. He's a single guy and he's got more HP than like all of our unions together? What? Oh, he used a red potion. I don't know. I'm not going to use that unless I need it. So I'm sure that requires me to actually have something. That's not great. Oops. No, it's too fast. <laughs> that doesn't happen. It's just a wisp of thing. Yeah. You did. Double strike three. Why did the guy want me to help him? I hope I've Dude could just walk through here on his own. He doesn't need me. That's another thing. Maybe you guys can explain to me. What the heck is Donaire? I don't get it. I don't understand what it is. That's another thing that I had never heard of until I got to Canada. And that's like their favorite thing in the world. Donair sauce on pizza and bread and things. And somehow it's a meat, but it's white. I, I don't... I, 
I don't get it. I don't know what it is. I don't understand. So someone needs to explain that one to me too. Alrighty, let's get Come on, let's kick some A. I don't air. I don't know if that's even how you spell it. I have no idea, uh, like but it's a, it's like a white creamy sauce. Some, I won't even try it. Like, it just sounds awful. But I have no idea what it is, and I don't want to. I, I don't want to ever try it, so I, I don't really care. But it's just one of those things that I don't know. I figure I might as well ask. Maybe somebody else can explain it to me. Because I've asked my wife, what is it? What is donair? What is what is the meat that it is? And she's like, oh, I don't know. Then why do you eat it? Why do you eat a sauce that that's a yes. derivative from that? And what the heck is a meat derivative Sweet. sauce? That doesn't I sound good. Stronger than before. That guy's cool. Ooh, paralyzed gas too. What? That's great. Sure, take it, buddy. I will because the tie-ins get triggered easily. Oh, there's one thing. Do not ask for ketchup in restaurants in Italy. Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. I like ketchup on a lot of stuff. I always think it's sad when people think that's an insult. It's like, I have a specific thing that I like. I have a specific taste that I like or what have you. It's not an insult to the chef. That's what I particularly like. It's like if you add salt or pepper or whatever the case is. You know, you have your own taste that you like. They make it the way they they think that it's perfect, and you might like it slightly different. I, I, that always bothered me. Let's clean up these fiends. It's like if they like what you do and they're just gonna change a slight seasoning. Why why would you care? Why would it Some matter to you? Like it does. It really does. Really? Here we go. Yogurt plus sour cream plus lime. Ugh, that doesn't sound good. But maybe it is. In, in regards to what? Or is that just in general? Rear assault? What? When in deadlock, if one union is flanked, flank attacked by two unions, any further unions deadlocking the victim union launch a rear assault. Unions performing rear assaults deal extra damage. I bet they do. I must grow stronger. It's fine. Fine. Oh, that's what it is. Really? Let's do this. But what is Donair sauce? Because I don't think it's the same thing. Because there's, I don't know. I've seen this weird round thing of meat that they like peel stuff. I don't know. Maybe I should just look it up one day because I have no clue what it is. Set up the field. What does that do? Oh, another red potion one? No thanks. Come on, let's kick some eggs. There's just the kebab. Oh, okay. But there's actually a sauce. Like there's literally a, a white sauce. And is that what the white sauce is? Attack them from the Is it is it a What's sauce this? to go what? on the donair? I hope I've grown stronger than before. Because I thought it was a sauce that was derived from the Donair. So it's one that's supposed to be used on it. Okay. I guess that makes more sense. Alright, yeah, that, that definitely makes more sense. Uh, gotcha. Okay, thank you for explaining it. Because like I said, I have no idea. I'm like, I don't even understand wh how you would do that. And why would it be white? That makes no sense. But that makes more sense. It's like uh, like pizza sauce. It's not a sauce made from a pizza. It's what you put on a pizza, right? It's a tomato sauce, right? Do I want to open the door? Can I open the door? There's a giant padlock on the door. It must be open with the key. Where would you put a key in that? You know what? That's fine. Hmm. <sighs> I actually we don't that's not a thing that we eat a lot of we don't eat a lot of kebabs is what we would call it and I think everybody else calls it kebabs which is sounds funny to me that's fine kebab just sounds weird but it's fine why does that room exist like come on guys 
Oh, I hope I find a map of this place. And while it's not massively huge, it's, uh... Alright, sorry, let me rephrase it. While it's not massively full of nasty, horrible things that are going to kill me, it's still relatively large. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's another room that has nothing in it. Oh, no, this has something in it. Including something terrible that's making noises. Oh, they're there. Okay. Come on out. Huh? Dig, fool. Dig. Light metal. Yeah. Okay, later. What you guys looking at? Huh? Want to fight? Do Let's do it. Kebab is just a method of making. Isn't it just meat on a stick? It's not what it is? Or do I just not know? Again, that's not something that we really did a lot of when I grew up. It was just not a thing, so. You guys can teach me the culinary arts. Come on, let's kick some A. I make very few things. Thankfully, most of the things I make, or pretty much all the things I make, I make them very well, so that's good. Oh, he's so cool! Oh, I like that guy. That was just a basic attack. He was amazing. Knee splitter. And four wins says good day, sir. A little bit of overkill there. Spark three. I know. They don't like him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Sweet. Meat on on a bread. Yeah, on a stick. Shish kebab is one on a stick. And see, that's what we say, shish kebab. So kebab, is it just the different pronunciation from where we're at? Or is there something literally spelled differently? Oh, stomach, be quiet. I know I fed you today. That doesn't mean you need to be angry at me. It's pretty noisy when I was doing Elix and other stuff earlier today. I was like, oh, man. Oh, I can definitely get lost in here. Oh, gosh. Oh. Well, you were napping. I guess I woke you up. Let's do this. All right. Let's wipe this thing out. It's fine. The best defense is a good offense. Come on. Let's kick some A. Oops. Oh, so, alright, so, what I'm gonna do, just so you guys know, for my, uh, amazing, um, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches that I'm making, I still haven't figured out exactly what bread I'm gonna use, but it's gonna be basically a hoagie roll of some type, right? So you're gonna cut it open, and we're gonna end up toasting it when we go to make it, but we're gonna get, I think it's gonna be top sirloin, and I'm gonna freeze it, and then I'm going to cut it into these teeny tiny little thin slices, it's really small little thin slices, little like Are square slices. Trying? Super thin, but then it's gonna all thaw out and I'm gonna cook it. And then I'm gonna cook some mushrooms and probably probably red pepper. Normally it'd be green pepper, but my wife says she has problems digesting that, so we always use red pepper, it's the same thing. It tastes the same. It's like bell pepper, and but it's red instead of green. Blow. And we're gonna cook that all up. And then we're going to add provolone cheese on top of it, and it's going to melt while it's, like, cooking. And then we're going to basically throw all that into a, you know, the big cheese mixture with all the peppers and onions. For them, onions, not for me. Peppers, mushrooms, and onions into the, the bread, and that's going to be it. It's going to be really good, I think. Or it's going to be terrible, and I'm going to absolutely not have any idea what I'm doing. So, we'll figure it out. Hopefully it comes out really well. Sounds simple and easy to make. We'll see. But yeah, basically it's a sub. I hear a lot of screaming and groaning. I don't like it. Alright. Hey, Vaxhawk, thank you. I appreciate it. You are the first person that actually subscribed. I just set this up on, like, Wednesday. So that was... Ah, thank you. That's cool. And here, I, I will show you. Or you can show them. I even did something the Colonel hasn't done yet. It was the kebabs. I actually set up my, my silly little uh, icon, so you should be able to use it. I, I, I still don't know much about how Twitch works, 100%, but I'm trying to stay consistent, so that was cool. Thank you. 
Yeah, I even missed that. Thank you, Colonel, for pointing that out as well. All right, uh, so how would you get a kebab in Sweden? I'll have to check some of these links later, guys, just so you know. Like, I usually will leave chat open, and I'll check stuff later. Like, I checked out... Uh, I don't remember who it was last week. Um, they were talking about... It was Dragon Quest... I don't remember the number. 11, maybe? It was Dragon Quest 11 or something like that, and... Oh, something's angry. Oh, that got pretty close. What are you? Oh, you're one of the little monkey dudes. Let's do this. And they sent me a link, and they're like, oh, I think it already released, because the information was like last year. I think it released on consoles, on one console last year. I don't remember which one it was now. But it's going to release to other consoles and PC sometime in 2018. So it's actually not out for everything yet. So, that's interesting. Oh, we have an AoE too now? I'm interested. How does that work? There you go. If you have better TTV, so you can hover your mouse over the link and the image will show. Oh, I do have that, so let me see. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. I See, I have no idea. I don't do a lot of stuff. Gosh, that's crazy looking. That's what a... How... Maybe it's too small for me to see. It is on my other monitor as far away as possible. Oh gosh, yes, I see the meat ones up there. Jung, yeah, those th that's the nastiest looking meat. What is that? What kind of meat is that? What is a donair? I don't know what it is. So what meat is that? Like, there's no donair animal. Like, beef is obviously cow, right? So what kind of meat is it? I'm very curious. Come on, let's kick some eggs. That's a squeaky. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Like All right, this dude's so cool. What is that? This is why I got that guy. Anytime you get one of the, the people in the union that's, like, super expensive, if you can afford it, they definitely step your game up a lot. That guy's got buff potions to make us faster, I guess. And he's got some weird, crazy AOE thing. I don't even know what that was that he just did. Sweet. It was cool, though. Silence, was it? I hope to put this power to oh, and he strong. just learned Eclipse? Somebody learned Eclipse? Oh, we got a Charm of Growling. What is that? Mighty Bludgeon plus one. Charm made from fangs, worn to raise AP. I don't think I need that. I think I prefer the 5% HP for now. We'll keep it, and somebody may request it, too. It is a beef, okay. Like, what part of, of, of a cow is it? Because it's just odd. Like, again, that's one of those things that once I came to Canada, that's where it... Like, I never heard that before, so it was very strange. This place is such a maze. Oh, that might help a lot. Please be the map once we get out of this battle. So new channel with that name. Mighty Bludgeon pl Plus One. Might be good. Oh, I thought about doing, um... I actually considered this, and I think I even you set it up. It might exist. I'm not even sure if I did it. I was going to do it, but I don't. I don't know if I finished it. But I set up a channel called Deca Kane, spelled slightly different, like D E K K A or something, and then it's like K A N E, because copyright infringement, right? And I was gonna do like certain things. It's just uh, stay a while, and I can't do it now. My voice is shot today, but you know. Stay a while and listen. That's quite the treasure you have in that Herodric cube. And just do my Deckard Kane impression through the entire channel and see if I could get anywhere, any kind of traction with it. Do it for a couple months. Just do like one video a day or one video every other day or something like that. And see if people would be interested and start following that. I thought it'd be funny. And knowing my luck, it would be more successful than my current YouTube channel. Because <laughs> that's how things work, right? That's how things work. They take beef, they mince it, oh, and then they put it on top of each other. You have to admit, that sounds absolutely disgusting. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, it was originally mutton? So that's what a mutton chop was. Or, okay, a mutton, a mutton is what? Um, Is that sheep? Is that what mutton is? Sheep, right? carved off the spinning yes the rotisserie yes I've seen them 
And I was always like, that doesn't look like any normal hunk of meat. I didn't realize that they like rebuilt it. So, th so they basically, they mince it and then they reform it into that big giant thing. Oh, that sounds awful. Let's do this. I have no idea. Did I get the map? I'm sorry. I got so distracted by our horrible talk that we're Take doing. Take the upper hand. The, just the weird food. You beast shall be facing me. <laughs> How's that? It'd be hard to maintain the Deckard voice for uh, entire episodes. That's why I'd have to do it much more paced out. Life. It is lamb. Okay. I must grow stronger. Let's see. What is the strangest thing I've ever eaten? I don't eat a lot of weird. I've I've tried alligator and I did not like it. It was gross. Uh, my dad liked it. My wife didn't care for it either. But in both of our defenses. We're not really sure if we liked it or not. We were both, like, deathly ill with the flu. We went on vacation and we were sick the whole time. It was awful. It was, like, ten days, or, like, nine days of just misery. And then we had a few days where we were okay, but it was bad. Ah, oh, no, no, Kurt. Hold on. How do I, how do I get rid of, how do I get rid of your thing? I don't know how to work, Twitch. Curses. Can I remove your chat message? No. I'm sure I can. I have no idea how to do it, though. I'm so bad at things. How do you do... I know you can delete a thing. How do you do that? Somebody tell me how to moderate my own channel. I don't know how to do stuff. That's it. Your time dot caramel. Stop with your cheese and marmalade. How do you how do you delete a single message, um, Kara or anyone? I really don't remember how. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> Cheese and marmalade do not go together. You should be ashamed of yourself. How do I untime him out? Is banned in this room. You must unban him. Oh gosh, what have I done? It doesn't say you're banned. What? All right, hold on. <laughs> oh, you've just been timed out for... Okay, so it does say... Okay, man, that's a long timeout time. i got to set that lower. Hmm. Permit user, what does that mean? Ah, what does that do? That is the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I never have a, a use or a reason to do any of this stuff. I didn't know you were born on April 28th. Was born on April thirteenth. Cool. <laughs> Somebody else timed him out. <laughs> I didn't do it that time. I promise. There we go. You're not a moderator of the room. Oh gosh. <laughs> well, Colonel, when you're when you're finally back in like twenty minutes. <laughs> Welcome, Kara. Play around. I, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. That was something that I was able to click, and it said it was supposed to permit him, but it didn't work. I don't want to play with anybody else's. <laughs> Montrose, are you still a, are you still an admin? Can you fix this? <laughs> yeah, you are. You're still there. Montrose, save us. It's been so, like, we don't really have toxic or hostile people in, in chat, and we don't have a lot of people who just abuse things, so we never, <laughs> we never fix it. If I, if I ban him again, it'll, it'll change it. I wish the game would keep playing when I alt-tabbed. Alright, I'm gonna try it again. You might be timed out even longer, Colonel, I'm sorry. Yep, timed him out more. Oh, there it is. I think he's back. Can he talk now? Colonel, are you back? <laughs> Beast shall be facing me. Yeah. I think he's back. Attack them from the fight. <laughs> back to the cheese and marmalade. Can someone figure out how to get rid of a single message, Colonel? Can you let me know? Because I, I, I could have sworn I've seen people delete a single Sweet. message before. Uh, 
Okay. I do. Oh, we still have the map. Oh gosh. I think I'm just gonna try to avoid combat for a little while. Oh, you don't think it's possible? Well, if a link is up there, can't you get rid of it with a, a like if a link is there and you don't want the link to be there? Couldn't you just or do you just ban the user? Is that how it works? Hmm. This is all very confusing. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was here, and this is the room that there was nothing in. Okay, so I kind of know where I'm at. Ah! I may be targeted, but you have a long way to go to catch me. He's catching me! He's going the long way! Don't hurt me! I'm a delicate flower! This place sucks. I don't like it. He's still chasing me. This is crazy. Well, we'll just keep running down uh, room after room here. Ah! Uh oh. Hey, there's another thing. Well... When in Rome, do as the Romanians do, right? Let's do this. You're too slow, other monkey. Yeah, you can ban certain words. Keep them off balance and crush them. He's heard the chat, and now won't stop. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, the monkey was quite angry with the chat. He's like, cheese and marmalade, those don't go together. That's like. That's like sardines and ice cream. No. Or Tabasco sauce and... Ice cream? I mean, that's really, that's most of the stuff, right? Tabasco sauce. Come on, let's kick some Anything ass. that's super spicy or overly flavorful in one way and you mix it with ice cream all sounds awful. Or like uh, pancakes and beans. Who does that? I will say though, it is odd that peanut butter and pickles actually aren't bad. You wouldn't think that would be a good combination either. It's not bad. So after my initial revulsion at the suggestion, I sit there going, you know, I kind of like peanut butter and I really like pickles. I wonder what it tastes like. Tried it, surprisingly good. Oddly good. Not what I was expecting. And now I kind of want that. Actually, I, I'm turned off from peanut butter right now. I I heard some relatively disturbing information. I don't want to tell it to anyone else because that might make them not like it. So I'm just not going to do it. But... <laughs> it's just a waste of a thing. No. no. Lay down cover. What does that do? Oh, that's a red potion again. No. To make sure I don't do all that stuff. Mod bot for fancy stuff. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, there's a lot of random things. There's uh, extensions, all sorts of stuff I can add. Like, Twitch has a lot more options than it used to have. I think I originally started streaming like three years ago, and I did it really consistently back then. But again, I just never really had the audience, so I stopped several times. And over the holiday, getting, getting super busy. Oh, hey, we got another person changed to an axe man. I like that. Um, over the holidays got super busy, so it was just like, eh, I was going to start streaming earlier than that, but I decided probably not going to do it. Alright, let's see what's in here. Peas and beans? Like, that's just weird. Like, pancakes and beans, they don't sound like they go together. Like, I don't want any kind of bean in a pa around pancakes. Just, they don't... Those are like opposite ends of the food spectrum to me. Okay, I'm not a big bean fan anyway, so that 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 also maybe adds to it. But I could eat beans. Like, I've had baked beans. I've had all sorts of types of beans. I don't particularly like them, but I can eat them. But definitely not... Ah! All right, what's chasing me? Oh, this guy. But definitely not with, with pancakes. It's just, no. Pancakes, you put syrup on. It's a sweet thing. It. Why would you ever want to put beans around that? This sounds terrible. <sighs> Give me a map of this place, please. Wow. 
missed again. Oh, we're back at the door. Well, that's something. Maybe I'm just going to zone into another area and it'll get me the map that way. What beans are sweet too? I don't think I've ever had a sweet bean and I don't think I'd ever want one. Most of my problems with beans are other than, well, first off, they're extra harsh on my stomach and whatnot. But on top of that, I don't particularly like the consistency of beans, which is odd because I can eat lima beans. That's what, like the only bean that I like. Ah, that's not like I'm thinking traditional beans, like a kidney bean or baked bean or something along those lines, which I don't even know what those are called. Um, but like I can eat green beans, I can eat lima beans, stuff like that. That's fine. But like just beans, you like in chili, be I'll me. I'll prefer beanless chili over chili with beans. Red bean Smash paste. From the sides. Chickpeas today. Like everybody's gonna hate this YouTube video once it goes up because everybody's gonna be so starved mm. and hungry when they're watching it. They're gonna be like, dang it, why did you have to talk about food like 85% of the stream? I'm sorry. It's what's topical right now. Leave me alone. A sandwich cake. Sweet. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had red bean paste. I've had what I think are red beans, but they're not sweet in any way. I guess it's just different areas, different ways things are prepared. But I don't like the consistency of beans. That's one of the things that turns me off on them. I'm just not a big fan. I I guess I'm going this way. Give me a map. Oh, there's that door that we need the padlock for still that we don't have. Tried it, mixed reaction. Uh, no, I don't. I, oh, oh, we're near the end of the dungeon. I don't consider carrots sweet, no. To me, something that's sweet would be like... Like a donuts generally are sweet. Something very sugary, right? I'm trying to think of I for whatever reason my brain is just drawing a blank of other things I think are sweet from like natural Let's foods. Oh, holy heck. I can't even pretend to pronounce whatever that is. Well, I don't know what carrots you have that are sweet. The carrots I have that aren't sweet at all. That's similar to a sandwich, but with large amounts of filling and garnish, similar to a layered cream cake. Okay. We have several layers of white or light rye bread with creamy filling in between. Toppings vary, but egg and mayonnaise are often the base. Additionally, filling many very er, filling may vary greatly, but often include one or more of the following. Ah, oh, oh gosh, no, absolutely not. I don't think it. Ah, oh. gosh, caviar, caviar. Tomato, cucumber, grapes, lemon slices, cheese, smoked salmon. Yeah, apples are sweet and they can also be tart, so sour. Pears. I don't find beans or anything like apples or pears. That just does not sound even remotely good to me, Jung. I'm sorry, buddy. That does sound pretty awful. I'm glad you like it, but I don't think I could eat that. Uh, sweets are special. They have blonde hair chest. <laughs> what? All the same. They're having a liver pate. Yeah, that sounds awful. Yeah, I definitely don't like liver. I don't know that I've ever even tried liver. There's certain things. Alright, now. Food is a mental game. If you think it's not a mental game, it is a mental game. Because I've had, when I was younger, I've eaten sardines. I like sardines. They taste great, in my opinion. I don't know why. I don't like fish in general. Sardines taste great. I absolutely 100% cannot eat sardines. I know I'm good. Or smell them anymore. The thought that I'm eating a little fish and bones and everything... Ugh, ugh, absolutely can't do it. There's no way. It makes me gag. It's disgusting. There's no possible way I can eat it. That was when I was more adventurous and younger. 
It was good. I liked it. Can't do it. Cannot get over the mental thought of eating a, an actual fish. It's like a, a baby. F ah, ah, ah. It's awful. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. On, yeah, I imagine it's like any one of those. So you could, I guess you could have sweet ones and you could have, you know, more meaty ones. Oh, hey. So he, he dug up, now he's going to get an additional dig awesome. point. And his dig counts are restored to max. Okay, later. Yeah, this has definitely not had much focus on the game itself. It's more of a background thing, but hey, it's okay. Sometimes we're a bit more focused on what we're doing. Sometimes we're a bit less. Oh man, I just wish I had a map of this place. It's one of those places I don't like being. Come on out. Come they're tr uh, yeah, they're already on to me, man. Yes. Oh, he leveled up too. Cool. Rookie power. Okay, later. Kind of what? Sardines tiny. Uh, they're tasty when they're big. What? I never, I never heard of a big sardine, so that's that's interesting and different. Sardines are always quite small, actually. Not just they're not tiny, but they're they're probably like what two and a half, three inches, something like that. Maybe maybe up to four. I've never even knew sardines could get bigger. Thought that was kind of the whole point. Yeah, or blood pudding. Oh, well, we found the the end of this place. I guess that's a thing. Lord Paris, time to die. Sure. Well, you, you would bite it. You would eat it, yeah. You eat, like, everything. It's disgusting. I don't know how people do it. Like, you don't cut the meat or anything. You just eat bones and everything. It's just, it's... And they don't smell very good either, by the way. Also, you don't eat, you don't cook them. Well, maybe they're cooked. I'm assuming they are. You don't cook them either. They're just in a can. You just pull them out of the can. They're in some sort of oil or water or something. And you just eat them. It's weird. Like, my father wanted them one day. And he's like, oh, you gotta try it, you gotta try I had to be like six or eight or something. And I don't like fish. But I'm like, alright, I'll try it. And it was oddly really good tasting. But then the mental, I did it more than once too, uh, but the, like, the mental, what I'm doing, what I'm eating, just I can't get past it these days. There's no way. There's absolutely no way I can do it now. Which is strange. Very strange. Come on, let's kick some eggs. Hmm. So you don't have cans of... Oh, I got blacked out and I got wrecked. You guys don't have cans of sardines? Well, uh, fish from a Portuguese. <laughs> I know, he'll want you to eat his uh, the jellyfish there. Okay. Let's see if we can't actually land stuff the way we're supposed to. He's done. And that's it. Really? McGrady? You're the only one that leveled up off of that, buddy? Okay. Fine. I was waiting for you when that wretch suddenly attacked me. I was so terrified. Why are you looking at me weird? Stop it. Thank you, Rush. Words cannot fully convey my gratitude. Oh, I learned some interesting stuff today about, um, Falk, by the way. I think you'll find out about it around episode 100. I'm not going to say anything else. But, dearest Charlotte, why did you decide to meet in such a perilous location in the first place? Though, thanks to me requesting Russia's help, we were able to rescue you. What do you mean, Paris? You were the one who decided the meeting place. You wrote me a knot. Oh, wait, wait, sorry. You wrote me not a fortnight back. Uh... What? I never wrote such a letter. What? What, what manner of knavery is <laughs> Knavery. What manner of knavery is this? And taught what end? Now that I think of it, the brute from earlier knew me by name. Certainly it could not have been. 
Ah, forgive me, Rush. This mystery does preclude a reward for your assistance. Bye. Are oh, you gonna go to bed? Alright, man. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by, hanging out for a bit. This dream I can say it went to places. It did, it went all over. I'm Sir Strami. Sure I completely butchered that. I've taken Charlotte home, safe and sound. I cannot thank you enough for your help. Here is your promised reward. Please, take it. I got the Godstone of Love! Game over. GG, we're done, folks. For the love, the bell tolls. Alright, let's see what that does. Special item. All the way to the bottom. One of the three Godstones of an ancient kingdom engraved as a poem exalting the glories of love. Alright, so yeah, that's a thing that happened. We are over time, which is fine. And yeah, we're going to continue in the next episode. Scaredy Cat and Magus. Okay. And it looks like we'll be doing a few more side quests and then we'll finally return to the heroic ramparts. It's going to be the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream. So, I think that is you and your rotten fishies. Right, that's going to do it for the stream, guys and gals, and for the recording. So...